Hey guys, Stephanie here with CreatingTheHeart.Lady.com and today I am finally showing you my craft room tour. Um, I was waiting, I was going to try to wait to have everything done, like my walls painted and stuff, but it's just been so hard to, to get everything done right how I want it, so I'm just going to go ahead and show it to you. And um, right now you're looking at the curtains that goes into my master bedroom. And this room here is a very small room. It's a room off my master bedroom. We was going to make it into a bathroom, but it, it didn't turn out that way. And I'm glad because now I have my craft room. So everyone that has um, big rooms or a special bedroom just for that, I envy you because I really wish I had a bigger space. But I'm thankful for what I have, and I made it work. Um, I don't have nothing, no big fancy Ikea stuff or nothing like that, but I've got stuff that makes it work for my craft room, and I hope you all like it. So, I'm going to try to make y'all sick, and at my door here, there's a piece of foam board on both sides of my wall, here and on this side, and, um, because this right here used to be a, the porch, actually, and they built it into a room, and, um, when they was going to cut that part, cut this part off, I told them, I said, no, I could use that for, um, like, kind of like a, um, pin board so I went ahead and used it and on this side here I just have all my tags and little stuff little stuff that I, I've made on it as well as um, I have a little set up there in my scrap room and then on this side I have my stepdaughter's um, little snowflake she drawled and this is her dress that she graduated kindergarten in and she's now in fifth grade so I mean, it's been a long time but um, I wanted to keep it it was really memorable to me so uh, after you get to that part, um, this right here, like I said, was the wall where um, they uh, opened the door up where it used to be the porch. I'm going to later on cover this up and stuff. But um, down here, I have a um, shower rod that you put, or a, sh a shower, <coughs> I don't know what you call it, organizer that you hang on your shower rod and it holds like your bottles of shampoo and stuff. But I use it to hold my glue gun, hot, um, embossing tool and my candle warmer that I use for crayon melting and they're not there that's just my son's little um table chairs that I keep in here so he don't climb on them and get hurt when he's not using them and then on this wall up here I have a little lantern here that I got from um yard sale and it's purple to match my room and so I just use it I love it and um, up there is my baker's twine I um well it's not actually baker's twine it's more like that flossy flossy yarn floss or whatever it is um and i put it on a cardboard and displayed it in rainbow colors that's how i display it but i do use it then this here is my ribbon um ribbon holder i don't have a whole lot of ribbon i'm still you know getting supplies and stuff however this ribbon here and this one and these two here i've had those spools of ribbon since i was like 16 17 years old and i'm just 24 now but um I've had it for a very long time. Um, this right here is my uh, very own version of the Clip It Up wall mount. And all it is is a slash raw that I got at my local dollar, or local Walmart store for like a dollar something. And then I bought those ID clips and put around it and um, clip it up. And I can you know slide them to see what I want. And so they hold my stickers, all my stickers and my cardstock stickers as well as my uh, foam stickers and stuff and I love it. Um, this wall here, um, you'll see the back a basketball in the background because when my son was born, after we decided not to use it as a bathroom, we was going to do it as his nursery but it was just way too small for a crib and stuff so we ended up not doing it. But I did hand draw that as well as the, uh, we're a big old wildcat fan for basketball and I had all their, um, Years of banners on um, the wall, the one, all except for the last one, I think was either 2012 or 2013 or whenever it was, the last one I, got, I didn't print it on. But anyways, this one right here, I just got the picture frame from a local thrift store and I used foam core board and construction paper and made my own shadow box to hold my stamps, my wood stamps. I don't have very many, but... Um, I am getting on my collection. All of these are Studio G uh, stamps, except for the Owl, two Owl ones, which are Hero Arts, and this one here is a Hero Art. This one here is Stamp Anonymous, but the rest of those are um, Studio G. And sorry about it getting light and dark. My extension cord that has my uh, light 
um, keeps flickering every time I move because my phone's on charge while I'm cameraing. So, anyways, this right here is a birdhouse that I altered. And it is not the one that I have the video on my channel of. It's the one that I first made. But um, I do make these and I do sell them different colors and stuff. If you uh, want to know um, how I do it, you can see in a video. I do have another one on my channel. And if you are interested in buying one, uh, contact me through my blog's contact page. And um, we'll go from there. Uh, this right here is the Cropper Hopper paper storage. I have my coordinations cardstock 12 by 12 here. Then I have, um, in the first slot here, I have my paper packs 12 by 12 of the um, die cuts with a view hair limb stack on my color box. Um, and this one, this pad here come from uh, Big Lots. Then over here, I have my eight, eight and a half by 11 cardstock as well as my eight and a half by 11. Um, I only have one of the um, design paper stacks. So I have those. And this right here is my stepdaughter's hand prints. Um, we was going to have uh, the other, all the kids' handprints, all four other kids' handprints on the wall for his room, but it didn't turn out that way, so we didn't get the other ones on there. So, like I said, I'm going to paint my walls eventually, but um, just didn't got to it yet. Okay, that there is my air dry clay and my clay mold. I've got four clay molds, but two of them's on my desk right now dry, um, with stuff in them. Then this right here is my acrylic design beads, and I also have my... Um, corsage pins, my eyelet pins, and uh, my Teresa Collins uh, corsage pins. Then this one right here is my mix acrylic beads that um, I have colors, but they all got different designs on them. Uh, and this right here, and these right here, by the way, are tackle boxes. However, this one right here, I did get at my Super Walmart store next town over, and it was actually a jewelry container, but this one's a tackle box, and this one's a tackle box. And this one here holds all my bead caps and my charms. And some little um, kids beads that my kids play with. Um, these right here, I had, a, I did have a whole bunch of these flowers, but um, I actually use those flowers in um, my tutorial, uh, my altar items, like I do here with this one. You can see around it. And um, because I'm trying to get rid of them, I want to use this vase for something else, but I don't want to throw those flowers away. So I'm just keeping them in there until I use them all up, and then I'll get to the vase. This here, I got at my local thrift store. And I absolutely love it. It's like a um, display case where it has dried flowers in it and stuff. And I absolutely love it. It reminds me of the Beauty and the Beast story. So I love it. But in the back there, I have my little vacuum um, and a mirror that I won't show myself because I'm, I don't I'm, know I'm not the prettiest person in the world. Um, but anyways, this here, I've got a bucket of uh, she shells, sea shells, if I can say it right. i uh, got a project to do with those as well, but um, I haven't done it yet. And down there's my big old bucket of uh, gesso, as well as I have a half a gallon of um, flat white paint and my 409 carpet cleaner that I no longer use. Um, these right here are my record kits that I've made. Um, let me fix these lights right fast. Okay. Uh, and what I mean by that is I, I have these right here and I sell these. Um, I've got a 75, a 45, and a floppy disk to match that one. And I've got different ones. I've got them in purple. I've got um, lightning lightning ones and different ones. And to see them up there, just um, go on my blog and you'll see pictures of them. So, um, this shirt here that all this is setting on is just a normal bookshelf from my local Walmart store that cost about $20. It fit perfectly in my room where I needed it to go at, so I like it. Um, down there is where I store my copy paper. Um, my printer was sitting right here. And you'll probably see that in my old videos. But um, I needed more space. So I went ahead and put my printer somewhere else in my bedroom. Off the, uh, it's on the dresser. It's right behind this wall here. So it can, I can still get to it. But anyway, that's where I store my printer paper. And these here is my Studio G. Um alphabet stamps and it's because and they, uh, they won't stay in the boxes so I just put them in a ziplock bag and left them there uh, these here are my big stamps like my homemade polka dot stamps my uh, Heidi Swap musical stamps my Inka Dinka Doo um, stamp uh, my autumn leaf stamp and my Stampin' Up stamp 
And then these here boxes I made uh, when I first started doing my craft room and doing crafts. I first started out with not having a whole lot of money to spend, not spend on organization and stuff, so I made a lot of mine. Some stuff I've still kept, some stuff I've gotten rid of. And these right here is one of the things I've kept. They just work right good for me. And this one here, I've got all my ribbons, lace, and um, trims. And I've got, them, I've got them all color coded in little Ziploc bags. This here, I've got game pieces, like Monopoly game pieces. The, the cards here that has the band around them, that's still a, a game that we play. I just store them in here. And then in here has all my paper doll stencils, as well as little rubber frogs, little birds, and uh, stuff like that that I use for altered items. Down here, I have my crayon box for my crayon melting. Um, this is how I um, store my photos in a photo box. And... Um, it's turned around backwards and I use a little string which um, my son got into the other day so they're all loose but um, I use a little string and binder clip them to hold them up so when the box isn't full I can move these strings back and forth or the binder clips back and forth to adjust it to hold my pictures up so they don't fall down and get all messed up this right here I had no room on my art side of um, my room where I have all my artsy stuff at to store but um, it holds my uh, this right here are my crayon melting pieces, but it holds my palettes for painting, as well as my, um, well, wherever they're at, as well as my um, sea foam that I use for painting, and I just kind of leave it there. Um, this bin here, let me get these, these chairs here out of the way. Oh, sorry. Uh, this being here, I got at my local Dollar General store, paid $5 for it, and it holds my big wide lace, my handheld sewing machine, and um, that little zip back there is actually my Girl Scout patches when I was a little girl, and then it also holds all of my um, doll, big dollies, and my tissue paper, and my pra uh, packaged single um, wrapping paper, so it holds all that there. Them two uh, frames right there is current projects that I've done and that I need to fix on and um, that I'm going to work on or whatever you want to call it. Uh, that shoe box there has got a, has a whole box of that, of that uh, craft lace, that plastic lace that I make keychains with. Um, eventually, um, I used to sell those um, a dollar a piece when I go to, when I set up at a vendor's, uh, mall, vendor's mall or something, just a little grab thing but I've not made none in a while I need to get back to that but these ice trays here I kept these um because I can always use them up there for organization to store paper clips in or pens in I just haven't got a place to put it yet this box here is nothing but my stepdaughter's um good grades uh and if you want to know about the other kids it's because um the only ones that live with us right now is um, my stepdaughter and my youngest son, and he's not in school yet. So, that's her good grades. And then these pink folder, and this pouch, and this clear thing here is nothing but pictures. Um, big pictures and school pictures and stuff that I don't want to use for scrapbooking, but I want to keep. So, All right, so the next thing is over. Um, well, I'm going to go up on the wall first. Um, I've got... Um, a string that goes up that I clip. I made those little clipper, uh, clothes pins. I designed them. I may hold a little bit of my, of my art. Um, they're up there. I did not draw. It was one of those little velvet things. Uh, me and my stepdaughter, she loves doing those. And um, we have coloring contests sometimes. And I'll keep mine and I'll hang mine up here. But um, that's what the, up there is. That's just the tag and that's a little handprint I done. This here, my son done me back in 2009. My oldest son. Um, he's seven now. And, um, he done this for Mother's Day for me when he was in daycare, and I love it. This right here is my scrapbook class com um, completion certificate that I done when I did my online class. Um, up here is my art journals, um, that I had made. I had, I've made all three of those. And then as well as my, um, canvases that I've made and up here made. And then I've done, I made that out there as well. So, going down here, um, back here I've got some of my ultra items that I've just made for this month, um, for the National Craft Month that I've done, I'm doing, video series. That's the Altered Egg Heart, and that's the, um, mini album, and it's 
kind of a journal looking, but it's supposed to be a mini album. And then this here is a Titanic model. I um, absolutely love the ship Titanic. Not the movie, the, the ship. I used to be so crazy about the way it was designed and decor and the way it was made. And I got a little model here. I'm not as crazy about it now as I used to be, but I got a little model here. Just, uh, I put it together myself and painted it. I know it's not the perfect one, but oh well. But, um, I've done it and, uh, I absolutely, um, wanted it in my craft room so I can show it off and everything, but it's more to remind me of my kind of like a childhood. So, um, this right here is actually two of these three drawer, um, stands or whatever you call it stacked on top of each other because where this is a small room, this room I think is four feet by, I want to say seven or nine feet. So it's very small, but, um, there are two of them stacked on top of each other. They've got three doors each. So I made a total of six doors. The top door is small. This here is my jewelry supplies drawer. I have my, um, cameos, my buttons for my hair bows that I make. I store my eyelets in here. I have my, um, paper beads, Ziploc bags. I've got, I'm trying to see here, mirror pieces, my jewelry kit, and that there is my acrylic uh, rhinestones. I also store my watercolor, my pastels, my um, cheap watercolor. And I'm trying to see what that last thing is. Oh, and my oil pastels in here because I don't know where else to store them at right now. So I store those in here. The next drawer is my paper material. That ain't supposed to be in here. Uh, my Ziploc bags, plastic wrapping and plastic bags that I keep uh, to seal pictures with. Tissue paper, brown paper bags, envelope paper, wax paper, plastic wrap, and my felt in here too somewhere. I think it's back here, yeah. Uh, toilet paper rolls and my felt's back there. And uh, then this drawer, oh, I didn't close right. This drawer has all my cardboard and ultra item supplies. I keep all my um, packaging for stuff in here because I make pop-up cards and stuff out of them. Um, I also keep wrapping paper that comes from your pack or packaging paper in here as well as egg cartons um, and stuff and I also you can't see it much but that little pink thing down there is some folders where here you can see it more through this way and that there are some folders that I um, alter and some plastic um, uh, what's some things called plastic dividers like you get for binders and stuff. I have them in here. I use for making for sealing pictures and um, It works really good now this top door here you're probably gonna laugh at me, but it's actually quite not that funny It's a whole drawer full of pencils. <laughs> I got this bag of pencils uh, from a yard sale and um, I think it's funny to you a little bit because my stepdaughter always tries to get out doing homework by saying she ain't got a pencil, she's lost her pencil, ain't got a eraser or whatever. So now she knows that I have this drawer and I'll tell her what I've got a whole drawer for it and then she'll just grab one real fast or she'll come in here and get one real fast and she'll go and do it because she knows that I'm going to give her no excuse. So that's that. Plus also I always use them as well to do like little quick sketches or something or markings or something on my script I put out. The next drawer here is my paints. Acrylic paint. Uh, that's my folk uh, folk art and apple barrel paints. This right here is my Daryl Raleigh Simply Acrylic Paint and Medium Gloss. And then I also have my Liquitex down here. These here are just window paint, uh, little cheap things my kids uses. These here are little br uh, disposable bread boxes that I got a pack of three for 88 cents at Walmart. And uh, I use them to divide my uh, paint with. And I also got them in the bottom drawer here. That holds my warm acrylic, cool acrylic, uh, cool watercolor. And then underneath down here is my warm watercolor. And then right there is all the Daler Raleigh uh, Simply Acrylic uh, paint as well. Okay, so not trying to make y'all sick. The next thing is, um, sorry about my light. I'll try to cover it up there a little bit. Um, that purple zebra thing right here, I've done that with um, paint, oil pastels, and uh, marker. 
I've done it there. Um, this right here, do you see this little phone shaped thing? It is a current project that I'm doing. I'm doing an ultra phone because my room, I want to make a theme of here like vintage women and women through time, how they've progressed and how they've been so inspiring to women and stuff. So I got that up there. This right here is my little scrap can, all my little scrap edges and stuff I keep in there because I always end up using them. Um, this here is one of the things that I made when I first got my scrapbook room. It is my own version of the We Are Memory, not We Are Memory Keepers, but the, uh, uh, Making Memories Carousel. Of course, it's not just like it, because, you know, it's going to get the hooks on it and that kind of stuff. But it works perfectly for me. Um, here I've got my small scissors, my hole punch, my tweezers, my X-Acto knife. Then I, I also store my wire cutters in here, but, uh, for my, for my jewelry making and stuff, but, um, my, uh, man's using, my old man's using them right now, <laughs> so, um, he's cutting some wires off something outside or whatever, but, um, so I'm just keeping my uh, scissors here, and I've got my, uh, little decorative scissors, and then I also have a potato pillar in here, because I use this here sometimes to shave down cr uh, my crayon sides to make a uh, decorative art for my art melting um then the next thing over here and then down here i keep my little distress tool and then over here is my wet glue i have my lena's tack it over and over glue my or tack original tacky glue tack it over and over glue craft bond glue pen and my glue sticks and then these right here are drawers and then I just got some of those clips and my X-Acto blade knives and some staplers in there. Just some little odd and end stuff. Over here's my dry glue, like my Craft Bond foam, um, foam mounting stuff, my ATG gun refill, my disposable, AT, uh, disposable tape runner and refill. Then over here I have my cement for my models that I've got. I have my hemp rope, my little thing of needles, my stapler, and some thread. And then in this drawer I have my pack of staples for my stapler. Then over here I got all my little dollar stamps, um, my hottie swap ones, my deep, uh, deep red, my We Are Memory Keepers, and uh, Lindsay, Lisa Gibbons. And this right here, um, it's not painted because I gotta fix it. Oh, that's my, that's my sister. <laughs> and uh, I gotta paint it and fix it because it tore on me there. Whenever I was making it, I still haven't done that. <laughs> so then um, here I have my clear gel, tacky glue, and then my glue sticks. And then in this drawer, I have my extra blade for my old trimmer and a gripper that I use, a gripper that I use for my exacto knife. Um, so I have that. Then up here I have my ATG gun and then I have all my rulers on one side and then I have my crocodile punch on the other side. And then up there is just some odd papers that go in there. Okay, so now <clears throat> I'll do the top of my desk first and I'll go down to my bottom desk. This right here I got at my True Value store. I paid thirteen dollars and something for it. It's got um 16 drawers in it and I've labeled them and I absolutely love this thing. Um, the first drawer here is my black and white beads. Then I have my bright beads. My pastel beads. My large beads. Or buttons, not beads. I'm sorry, these are buttons. Then I have my small game pieces like uh, Monopoly, Dices, little po uh, poker chips. And yeah, mo mostly Monopoly pieces and dices. Then here I have all my Tim Holtz, uh, Graphic 45, spare parts, etc. pieces, uh, gears, swivel clips, keys, paper clips is in there somewhere, and my fasteners. Yeah, there's the paper clips. And then the little uh, fasteners. And I have all them in there. These are my paper clips, decorative paper clips. I have the uh, Heidi Swap butterflies that I absolutely love. Then I have the lace ones down here. Then I have my whole drawer of pearl beads. I love this drawer. Um, then I have um, all four of these right here, the same thing. Um, they're blue, sta uh, they're stationary with paper clips, push pins, and binder clips in the back, but they're kind of hard to get out. And I've got a blue one, green one, pink one and a purple one then down here i've got pom-poms and um i've had these things since i was a teenager 
Um, I don't really know what to do with them yet, so hopefully I can find something this Christmas to do with them to get rid of them. Uh, here I have butterfly sequences, I have silver sequences, and then I have my thread and um, little thread, and I have a... Uh, I normally keep my um, needle threader in there, but I don't know where it happened to hit. So, I have that. Um, back there, back here, that little snowman is a card from a friend of mine, and um, I keep it up there to look at. Um, these here is where I uh, send things out. If I gotta send some stuff out uh, and stuff, that's what I do. This is a journal that I made a while back, and I just haven't found a space to put it yet. And this is a jar that I painted myself, and this is a rock that I found when I was at a spot that me and my man went to and uh, spent time together at, and I brought it back as a memory. My old man got me this for me, and there's another rock behind it that I got as well. Then right here is my um, Martha Stewart mini scoreboard, and then this right here is my ink pad, my ink pad, um show kit or inventory kit or page or whatever you call it and then this thing here is my new favorite thing in my room uh, i have a curtain or a, yeah a blanket over my window i'll explain that later but this right here is another thing that i'm uh, that i love i made this myself out of foam board and um i made it made it with slats and stuff so it fits right i tried making one of these before and it didn't turn out right but this it was like really big and I don't know how I messed up the measurements, but I did. So this one right here, I done it again, and I added my own technique to my own stuff to it and everything, and I absolutely love it. So let me go ahead and get started with that. On top here, this one turns light off. There we go. Sorry about that. On top here, I store my um, EK Success punches, my one-inch circle, my one-inch scalloped, and then my corner puncher. Then I store my, my, the only distress powder, embossing powder I have is black suit. I store it up here. My hot off the press stamp scrubber and my acrylic block. So anything kind of stamp related other than the punches and stuff is up here. Then here is my Studio G mini ink pads. Uh, my Tim Holtz distress ink embossing pad. Broken China, chip sapphire, and vintage photo. Then all of these here are my Studio G, um, Studio G ink pads, normal colors. Um, I have my um, uh, Cat Eye Color Box, not Color Box, what's it called? Color Box Chalk Fluid uh, Cat Eye. Right there, I only have two of them. Down here, I store my Ranger Stamp Cleaner, my Alcohol Blending Solution, and my Vivitar Camera Cleaner, or, can or Lens Cleaner, what do you want to call it? Then these two things here, you ought to know what they are, but just in case you don't, they are the new Tim Holtz Mini uh, holders, all of them have been out for a while. And I have um, all of these colors. Um, I got kits number one, two, three. Okay, sorry about that. Okay, so I got um, all the kits number one, two, three, and four, except for the um, one that come in black suit. Uh, after I paid for it, they told me it was out of order, so they had to reimburse me my money. And uh, that is the reason why I got two of these tin cans because I was going to put the fourth kit in here, but um, it uh, didn't get it so I just went ahead and kept the second tin because um, I'll be getting more anyway so I let the spots open here to hold those and then on the side here I have little things that I made out of toilet paper rolls to hold the um, re-inkers so I got those uh, going on down this right here is a shelf that used to set over a kitchen sink um, I got it at a yard sale and um, I used it here for my desk. I just use a uh, print. I cut down a Pringles box and uh, put it there with a piece of cardboard until I find something else I can use it for. And then I have my uh, Zyron 1.5 sticker maker. This is a um, well. Oh, mercy. Good thing I dried. Uh, but the zipper thing here is another one of the things that I had made. <clears throat> it holds my whiteout, my zip, um, 
post little small post-it notes as well as my pencils uh, my stampin up pencil coloring pencil my little markers and uh, gel pens my regular pens and my journaling pens and um, that's one of the things that I made and uh, put there another thing that I've got here is these four little tin cans um, I got these here at my uh, dollar store, or not dollar store, I'm sorry, opportunity store. Yeah, uh, these two here already came purple, and these here was white, and I just went ahead and painted the black zebra to match my room. This here holds my large post-it note, as well as all my little sizes for certain cards and certain things that I make and sell. These here holds my little blending tool, blending tools, I only have two of them. This holds my homemade glue dots that I've uh, made. I will make a video to show you how to do that if you would like. Uh, leave a comment below and um, I'll make a video if you want to. And this right here holds my little tools like my lighter for ribbon, my measuring tape, a little tiny brush, a tortilla a stick, and a rub-on tool, and then my old um, electric cigarette, but I no longer use that. So... <clears throat> Here I have a Brandy's card from Brandy Cox that she has sent me, and I thank you so much, Brandy. I love them. Um, and this right here is how I store my washi tape. It had a little slat, slat in this right here for some reason. I don't know if it's where someone might have put um, a CD player something on it or something. I don't know what it was for, but somehow it was there. And I just took the little plastic sticks that's left over that was left over from the model. I've got two. I've got another one back here. Uh, from the model Titanic that I made and just store my washi tape on there and it fits perfect. Then back here I have my hole punch, my water bottle, two little um, jars that I have and then back there is my, my homemade alcohol inks that I made. I don't use them a whole lot but I do uh, use them every now and then. So down here I just have my um, Fisker's um, rotary cutter and this right here I use to make a list of to do's or videos to make and what to use in the videos and stuff for myself this is my original copy this desk here I got at uh, my local Walmart store I paid I think $20 for it and it does me good I love it it's kind of roughed up where I've worked so much on it I used to use the um, craft mat on here but um, when I would um, use scissors and stuff it always kept getting scraped up and stuff still so I just not used it but I need to get a um, rubber mat and put down here so um, over here in this part of my desk I have a drawer here um, this here is kind of my catch-it-all drawer and um, just about everything I don't know where to put at goes in here but um, I have uh, some papers I have some skulls for a configuration box my nurse stethoscope um, extra pieces. I use hair bows to deal with the um, cords in my room. Extra wax paper, some batteries, my charger for my phone, car charger for my phone that I take out to the car, and just some little pieces back there and stuff. Uh, and also my cleaning wipe for uh, my cameras. So, then down here, this here is where I store all my 6x6 paper pads. I also store my, um, I know you can't much see it because it's dark, I uh, store my, let me get it, hold on a minute, I'm using a little flashlight, and that's where I store my Dymo uh, label maker, uh, back there I have my cards that I make and I uh, also have my box cards that I sell, and in that little red box there I store all my little um, electronic cords and stuff down there. Uh, down here I store my photo albums and my binders I keep my scraps in, my cards to make in, that pink binder is uh, personal stuff, and that there's just embellishments, but that is not how I use my embellishments no more. You can see a video on my YouTube channel how to store them. I still think it's a good little idea for paper embellishments, small paper embellishments, but um, or if you have like small die cuts and stuff. I still think it's a good idea, but I just don't use it no more. So I have that. Then down here, um, that thing that has a like, lot glob on it is my uh, little cardboard piece that I used for painting and inking. Then I have my 12 by 12 chipboard. That's a picture frame that I gotta fix. And this tote here is my filing, filing coat, tote. 
down there I have my um, extra trimmer, laundry detergent, and this right here is just some odd and end stuff and my fan. So, okay, so I'm just going to show you um, from here to right there is how long the window, the, the room is. Then from here over to there is how wide it is. So it's very short, small room. But um, on this side of my desk, um, that's where I store my tape at. But um, I have a little picture frame there that I altered. That box there, I hold some of my um, son's baby stuff in it. I've got to find a little thing to store them in. I have some command hooks. I always keep some baby wipes handy. And then this little box here is where I store my hair bows material, my, all my clips. Uh, the bows that you're seeing here right now is ones that I'm currently working on that i got to finish. But most of this right here is my clips and stuff that I'm storing in it for my hair bow making. I do sell those as well. Here is another one of those totes. Um, in the except this one right here doesn't have a small drawer on top. It's got a full drawer. This uh, first drawer here is um, just um, stock up stock of um, hygiene products and uh, med medicine, cold medicines and stuff like that. There, uh, that's just where we keep our overstock of hit at. So my old boy don't get into it. This door here stores all my. Um, I've got some batting for some pillows and fabric that I use. Uh, layouts that I got to put away. And art journal pages. My Stampin' Up! catalog. As well as magazines. And the rest of that there is my finished art pro uh, pages, drawings, and stuff like that there. So. The bottom drawer here is everything that I want to paint. I've got 45 records, a license plate, bottles, a uh, electric um, outlet plate, more bottles and spoons and stuff that I wanted to decorate um, when I get there to it. Um, up here is my art desk. Um, this right here is another one of those things that I made and it holds all my sponge brushes, my, I gotta finish painting this one, my palette knives. Uh, this little hole here holds my uh, tortilla sharpener, but it fell down the crack and I forgot about getting it out. Then I have all my uh, tortillas here, my stencil Martha Stewart stenciling brushes, and my erasers, my kneaded erasers, and my little doll. Back there is where I store my markers. There's two bottles that I decorated and a doll frame that I decorated. This here I got um, my yard sale. I ain't for sure what it really is, but... I got it and it just holds my um, Sharpie markers that I gotta put two, two of them over here in. Uh, my paint brushes, my watercolor pencils, my drawing pencils, and my coloring pencils. And then I've got some wipes and napkins that I keep there. Um, these two cups here is my water cups that I use for my palette knives and my brushes. And I've got currently some, got some brushes soaking in. And that's another draw, doll form that I'm working on. Um, my aprons. This here is how I used to store my inventory of every, all my pencils and stuff, but it's been, it needs to be updated and I just haven't done it yet. Um, up here is a little chandelier that I made out of to or paper towel rolls and I've got little gems on them hanging. Oh, one just fell. Just like chandeliers and stuff and I made that. That's a pin cushion that I've made, a top hat that I made. I bought that from Dollar General. I made this out of um, crackle paint, cr acrylic paint, and ink. I uh, painted this, painted this, and painted this. And I do have these right here currently for sale. And then up here is another doll frame, doll dress that I made. And then um, going back down here for a second, um, this right here on this my art desk is where I store my um, metal nail crosses that I make uh, and sell these. I sell these like crazy. They're necklaces or you can put them on your uh, book bag or purse or something to carry around. They're just metal, uh, metal crosses and I've got different colors of them. That's where I start star, store my art journal that I made as well as my drawing paper, my tracing paper, my watercolor paper, acrylic paper, and uh, little pads of those. Down here I have some scrap paper and some envelopes. 
the other is a big old book that I use the pages out of for back uh, backgrounds. This tackle box here, I have all my acrylic nail stuff in. My nail polish, my white tips, my clear tips, my acrylic powder, acrylic liquid, all that stuff. This tote down here, I have all my birthday party supplies that I reuse, like um, streamers and candles and stuff that I melt down and reuse and repurpose them. I have a painter's tray, a scrub brush, a roller, a big brush, and I use this hair drying from melt and crayons sometimes on canvases and stuff. I use that there. Over here, I have a store, a whole bunch of different picture frames and um, that I make stuff out of and I alter them and stuff. Um, I do have a, an extra baby bed stored in here right now, but it's going to be gone later. And then down there, I have all my son's diapers and wipes stored and stuff. So, <clears throat> and my trash bag. So, this right here is my Re Collections wall mount that I have. I absolutely love it. There's four slats here. You get two in a box. And then when I bought these, it was buy one, get one free. So I got four all together. So I loved it. And I just got my um, adhe adhesive bling jewels on here. I've got my library cards and some embellishment stuff. Uh, a little nurse thing I'm doing for my scrap page of my college that I'm doing. I've got some Tim Holtz clip. The, this right here, actually, the numbers is going to be used for that foam that I was making. Then I have some blending foam, some pa uh, page corners, more refill for my ATG gun. Uh, the Primo Risen's picture frames that I absolutely love. Then I have some Halloween stuff and some um, wedding cards and stuff that I alter and I do all the time. So, this is uh, my craft room. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you liked it. And uh, you got to see all my goodies that I have. Um, showed everything off now. And um, don't forget to check out the other videos for this month's series of the National Craft Month. And also check out my channel and my blog for upcoming more upcoming videos videos that i've already posted as well as um the stuff i want to sell on my shop so don't forget to like comment subscribe and check out my blog at www.createfromtheheart.libby.com all of it will be in the description box below bye